Hello, to all print-on-demand artists. After watching this video, I promise you that all of you will get sales. In fact, this week is witnessing an important activity, thousands of artists are getting a lot of sales while I am talking. So today, I will show you how my shop, went from this, to this. How I made a whole collection for the Ukraine-Russia war, step by step. From uploading, to writing the right tags. And I will show you why, so pay attention to this video. All this started, when I woke up last week. All the news was about Russia, its President Vladimir Putin, and Ukraine. This was all over the news and social media networks. That's called trending news. And who says trends, say Redbubble trends. This is the best news any Redbubble user would love to hear. But how can I use this trend, and apply it on Redbubble to get sales? I have noticed that a lot of you guys, are using those tools or websites, to search for trending niches. But the thing is, that the more users search for a trending niche, the more it get in popularity. The idea is that those Redbubble search tools became so misleading, that a lot of you are wasting efforts and time in designs that are not even wanted by people. It's just that the designers are looking for them, so they became a trend. This time, I decided to not get into those false trends, so I started to look somewhere else. I went to Etsy.com and searched for Ukrainian shirts. In term of niche research, I think that Etsy is more legit. If you spot a trend on Etsy, be sure that it is a true trend. Here is the first Ukraine shirt. But how can we know that this is making sales right now? How do we know if we can sell this shirt? Here, you can see that people are buying this shirt. But is it a trend? We can also scroll down and take a look at the people comments, check the date of the comments. If you scroll down a little bit more to the bottom of the page, you can see a date. It's today's date. It says listed on, the 25th of February. But this doesn't mean that the product was uploaded today, because it already has 18 favorites. But each time a product gets sold on Etsy, the website get it listed again. This means that this product is getting sold today, while I am making this video. That's why I made it so fast, so you can take advantage of this trend. Now, let's see which product we can make or reuse, that will make us money on Redbubble. Check out this one for example. I have picked this one, because it has not text, symbol or any image. So I am sure I won't have copyrights or trademarks problem if I use this one. These blue and yellow colors are the Ukrainian flag colors. But is it trending too? Here, you can see that there is other people who added this item to their cart, which is a good sign. Let's scroll down to the bottom of the page. Here you can see that this product got listed today, which means that it is making sales, and it already has over 50 favorites. Guys, I can tell you that this t-shirt is trending right now. So take advantage of what I am telling you, and seize the opportunity right now if you want to make money on Redbubble. Let's enter this shop and see. This person has more than 1100 sales, she last updated the shop on February 11th. And you can see that this person is smart. She is taking advantage of the trending, making really nice Ukrainian designs, without using any text or flags. Just the two colors from the Ukrainian flag, without risking her shop. Later in this video, I will show you how to do this kind of designs and even better. I am also going to show you how to do your tags and keywords. But before that, if you are not subscribed to the channel please take the time to do it, and also leave a thumbs up to support me. Thank you. Now, let's get to something a little bit more risky, and also more profitable. Take this one for example. It's a simple t-shirt with a symbol, and some text too. It says, stand with Ukraine, and I am sure you all can make this design or better. Over 20 people have this in their carts right now, good sign that it is trending. It also has 344 shop review. Can you imagine how many sales is this person making over this t-shirt only? And it is listed on the 26th of February. If you want to know how many sales is this person getting, just click on the shop here on the top of the page. You can see that it has over 2700 sales. And if you take a look at this person's shop, you will notice that he made a full collection just for this trend, and that's why he is making so many sales. 
So in Adobe Illustrator or any other design software or website, open a new document. It must be 4,500 pixels, if you want a well-sized design on your product. We are going to start with a simple text-based design. For example, Ukraine. Pick the right font for your text, and then create outlines from it. After that, ungroup the letters, and create a compound path. Now, we just need a background image. A flag maybe. You can pick any background you want. I just want this to be a little patriotic. Now, we adjust the background image on the text. All we have to do now is, click on, object and then clipping mask. And here you go, now you have your text-based design. Another trend is going on here is, stand with Ukraine. But this time I went on Google Translation, I had it translated to Ukrainian, just to get rid of the competition. When you are working on a niche, especially a trending one, always think how you can get rid of the competition, and always try to sub-niche as much as you can. Pass the Ukrainian text on Illustrator. You can color it with blue and yellow, I prefer to put it all blue, and put a yellow background behind it. If you want a more graphic design, try to download some assets from freepick.com. It's a large library, where you can find a lot of vectors that you can use. I just downloaded these assets, and I will use them to make a simple graphic design as you can see. In case you are an experienced graphic designer, you can design something like this, or maybe you already have some ready designs about peace or war in your portfolio. You can combine some related sub-niches to this trend to lose some competition. That will help get sales. Just make sure to show some Ukrainian colors. Now, let's check our niches for trademarks. This is a really important step that you must do each time you find a niche, in order to keep your account safe, and avoid being banned. So we go to tmhunt.com, and we type our niches. You can use multi-search, or split search. After typing your niches, click search, and then, set to live and text. And finally, we reach our final step, which is adding our work to Redbubble. Here, we upload all the designs that we made, text-based or graphic ones, and we put a title and tags for them, in order to optimize our SEO, and get views and sales. And for that, let's do some research. On the Redbubble search bar, let's type our niche to see the results. Let's filter the results by best selling. We pick one and enter it. Scroll down to the bottom of the page, and here you go. These are the tags that are making this design a bestseller. You should copy them, and use them here. You can also use the Redbubble Tag Generator. You can download it for free from Google Play, and install it on your Google Chrome. You just have to type the keyword related to your niche, and the extension will suggest you the right tags for you. So you will have to combine tags from this extension and the tags we found on the bestseller. To write the title, just type your niche. You can also add some related niches to it, to attract more visitors. As we said before, to write the tags, you just have to combine the tags we found on the bestseller design of your niche or sub-niche. And those Redbubble tag generator suggested to you. After that, I like to copy the title and past it on the description. And here you go, these are all the designs that I made on the same collection and that are making me sales. Thank you for watching, see you next time.